so the length of that thumb, then short thumb, people like numbers, long thumb, good manual dexterity. Now this is the boss finger right here. When this finger is quite long, that's an indication that you uh, could be a teacher, a manager, a salesperson, political finger, but it's a leadership finger. So if this finger is quite long, it indicates that you want to be the boss. See, yours is just slightly long right here. That's just slightly above that line here. When that's a short finger, it'll sit below this line right here. And that's a person that goes out and works on their own. They're self-motivated. They'll go out and do their own little thing. They don't like to be the supervisor. Now, this is your business finger, this middle finger right here. And you want to measure that against the length of your palm. Yours is just absolutely, totally average. So, I wouldn't suggest that you go out and start your own business. People that have long business fingers have good business sense. Um, if they have kind of a short finger, they're too concerned about their social issues. That's the kind of person that makes a good social worker or a person that, uh, you know, like a nurse or something that takes care of other people. They're not out for the big money. So yours is just totally average. Now this ring finger gets slightly long there. See, it needs to come up to that line right here. And that's your, these are your two brain fingers, your ring finger and your little finger. This is your right brain, this is your left brain. When that finger is quite long, that means that you uh, are creative, imaginative, inventive. Bill Gates' finger is as long as his middle finger. Can you imagine that? My mother was a songwriter. Hers was about that long. So that's a creative, more than, uh, it's not artistic, it's a creative, imaginative finger. And uh, so you should be doing something that's very creative in your job or you'll get easily bored. Now when that's a short finger, that's a person who's very practical and systematic and they're very organized. They probably all have all their socks color coordinated in their drawers. Now this little finger needs to come up to this ring right here at the base of this flange right here. It doesn't quite make it. <laughs> this is this is your uh, scholarly finger. We call it the doctor lawyer finger. If that's quite long, you like to work with words and letters. I'll bet you hate paperwork, do you? Oh, you don't hate paperwork? No. <laughs> no. I mean, big time pay. Do you have to write papers or anything? Have you ever had to write papers or? I do. You're in school right now? Yes. Oh, okay. Good for you. What's your major in school? Teacher. Oh, teacher. That's his finger. That's good. That you're, You've are you got a good teacher finger. Well, all right. This is your words and letters finger. I hope you're not going to be an English teacher. No. Oh, well, hello. You said that no like. <laughs> that's When that's a long finger, and I've seen them as long as up to here, when that's a long finger, you work well with words and letters. You're a writer, you're a doctor, you're a lawyer, somebody that has to do a lot of writing. But when it's a little bit short, it's a hands-on person. They get in there and get the work done, but they don't like to sit at a desk and write all day long. Yeah, see how distinct your index finger is from your other fingers? That's a really good finger, and that's your teaching finger. That's excellent. Now, we're going to move down here to this little section between the heart line, the end of the heart line, and the ring around the little finger. This is your marriage lines and your children lines. So you look at the end of the heart line right here and the ring around the little finger. And you measure, see how many horizontal lines go across here. One, two, okay, you just had one marriage? Yes. Okay, there's your marriage line right there. You must have had a little boyfriend way early in your life. Did you have a little boyfriend you were kind of close to? Yeah, early? 12. Oh, you're 12? Because <laughs> it sits very low. This is the timeline. Here's the early part of your life. Here's the later part of your life up here at the top of this. So did you get married then when you were about 21, 22, 23, even later than that? I was 25. Okay, because that's quite a late marriage in that section right there. Here's your children. The children go vertical across this this section right here. They generally start 
they generally start kind of on right here a little bit on this side of the middle of the little finger here's one good child line that one child you've got one child now is that correct mm -hmm. okay that one child is kind of smart comes clear up here and touches up on that and you may have a miscarriage you've got a little tiny uh, short line right here then you've got another child in here and you may have a third child okay. <laughs> so you may have three children but you've got quite a little space in there in between number one and number two child uh, this is a heart line but let me do this line first this line is the money line and it starts down here no it starts right here at the end of the uh, headline starts here and it moves right up here towards the little finger when it gets up here sometimes it splits you've got a really good money line it means you're not ever without money see how it comes along it never breaks mm -hmm. and then when you get up here all these little extra lines that's extra income when you're older in your older age so good money line and then one two three four about four sources of income when you retire now let's look at your uh, your lines here in your hand remember this is the heart line this is the head and the spine line and then this is the lifeline this is the fate line then and in this hand in the right hand remember this hand is your present and your future so that fate line every time that breaks and moves over it's a change in your career and again you've got a timeline on this fate line when you hit this line this head and spine line right here that's about age 40 here's about age 70 and the ring around the little finger here the not the little finger but the middle finger the ring around the middle finger is about age 80 and that always goes to the middle finger if it doesn't go to the middle finger it's a different line it's not your fate line so oh by the way look at these little X's here in here when you get those little X's underneath this uh, finger it generally indicates that uh, it intensifies that uh, creative part remember this is your creative your inventive finger you're gonna be doing something that's achievement oriented with that creativity okay and you even got a line coming up there towards that creative finger um, so here's your heart line right here and it starts in between your fingers and goes down and makes a nice little swing like this when you got a nice little uh, kind of a half circle there in that heart line it means that she's raised in a loving caring family well you're from a family of nine kids mm -hmm.